Welcome to today's lecture. It's going to be a little different today. Today's lecture is going to be discussing the use of whipped cream versus shaving cream. Now, you would say, why, why would somebody want to make pies out of shaving cream? Well, we'll go over a couple of those things here in a moment. But let's talk about the bad points of whipped cream. One of the things is whipped cream, whether it's in the tub or it's the stuff in the spray cans, you sort of have to keep cool. If you don't keep it cool, it goes bad. If you look on the internet, you'll find out stories about in the movie The Great Race and the Wonderful Pie Fight. It sort of got a little stinky because they didn't clean up the set between the pie fights, <laughs> between the takes and stuff like that. And after a couple days, it got stinky. So that's one of the things. Also, it's people think, oh yeah, you can eat it. But it stains. It can stain and really make things bad. Let me show you right now. Here we go with an example of what happens with whipped cream and pies and clothing. As I bring this in, take a look at this area. Can you see it? The discoloration? That, what happens with whipped cream. It can stain clothes. And that's not good. I can only use this shirt for times when I've got something over and covering up the stain. It's been washed and washed and washed. Guess what? It's not going anywhere. It's there. One of the reasons why clowns use shaving cream. It doesn't stain clothes. Okay? One moment. You see what happens with whipped cream and clown costumes. They sort of uh, stain. So, But moving on to the next thing. Not only does whipped cream stain clothes, but our beautiful makeup sort of goes... Pfft. Now, our makeup is designed to do a lot of things. But it's not designed to handle the natural oils in whipped cream or like french fries or hamburgers or other things you won't see a clown being eating chicken fried chicken because otherwise their makeup is going Pfft. and you like to have a good looking clown so a lot of times we clowns will eat off the side or we'll eat finger food something we can put in our mouth otherwise our makeup would be bad now as for shaving cream oh it's a soap it's a very mild soap and it really doesn't take off our makeup. True, we might do some touch-ups here and there, wherever, but after a couple pies, we still can have a pretty good looking face. Now, also, shaving cream will not stain your costumes and will not stain those expensive shirts. So that's a good thing. Another thing is, shaving cream, you, you let it sit out for a day or two, guess what? It flattens. And what you do is just clean it up. I read about how in the Bozo Show, they would take all the stuff, put it off the side, and next they come in with the whisk broom and clean it off. Needless to say, it was a lot easier to do that than trying to make sure you cleaned off all the whipped cream and so it didn't stain, stink, or whatever the next day. To show you an example of that, I've worn a wig here or there or something like that. Here's some clown hair after... Uh, a day where the day prior we shot a couple videos. You ready to see it? Let's go!
24 hours after several pies allowed just to sit shaving cream on the wig shake Shakes right off. The wig is basically ready to be worn again without major construction problems or deterioration. <sighs> Shaving cream 24 hours later. Why do clowns use it? This is why. Bye bye for now. Hi, folks. Welcome to the cleanup. Now, as you can see, I'm quite messy. First thing to do is remove the glasses. Now, yes, I wear glasses because I need to, otherwise you're, fo you're out of focus. Now, what you wanna do when you're trying to clean up is you don't rub or something like that because that will help take off the pot, your makeup. What you wanna do is pat. So you get either a washcloth or a paper towel and you pat. Having a bucket of water or something like that, like a sink, helps get you collecting it. You can rinse the cloth off and I'm at it more. True. Now, if you have a partner who can help you and they understand this principle, they can help you clean up a little bit quicker See, now it's throwing us the wig. Now, this is the idea about getting cleaned up for doing another skit or something like that there. And so you can just tap it, rinse. So, the idea of tapping your face as opposed to rubbing it is like rub, 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 rub. It sort of takes off the makeup. Where padding will keep enough there that you don't have to do a major remake up job for your next skit or show or whatever. All right. Well, folks, this has been some more lectures. A little more bits and pieces. Want to say pie pie for now. Can you see me? I can't see you. There you are. Hi. Hey, there's an eye there. Is that my eye? That must be eye. Oh, there's pie in the eye. It definitely is my eye then. All right. Pie pie for now. Hi, folks. Well, I just cleaned up partially from doing the extreme self pie. Now, as you can see, I still have shaving cream in my hair and I left it there for a reason. I want you to take a look at my face. As you can see, my makeup's not horribly, terribly wrong. It doesn't look like I've been crying and I have runny this or runny that. Remember, I took my glasses off or if you haven't, or, if, or my glasses will be off. You're going to see it in a moment. But my eyes, in general, I'm not bad to go do another thing. All I gotta do is clean the wig. Now the question is, what would happen using whipped cream yeah. and trying to clean it off? We're talking a little bit more of a mess. We'll be showing that hopefully soon. If not, bye bye for now. Or at least back to the next segment. We're done. Or are we done? I got clean up. Ah!